Hey, it's Emerald Stars. Welcome back to another episode of Harvest Block. Let's get to it and have some fun. I spent quite a bit of time between episodes getting Batania all set up so that I can start working on my mana generation. But um, first, real quick, I want to show you. I also got a lot of... Um, Cooking for Blockheads and Pam's Harvest Craft set up. These are just um, standard Pam's crops. I have nowhere near completed all of them, and I'll probably be working on that, trying to fill this up and getting all of those made so that we can start making delicious food, since obviously food is an issue. I've had, since I started the mod pack, I think the only thing that I've eaten was a chicken that uh, spawned in my mob spawner over there, a chicken rider, and that's the only thing that I've eaten since I started this mob pack. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna get right into setting up my mana generation, and this is the setup that I like to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a mana pool right there in the middle, and I have these eight mana spreaders that I'm gonna put on top of all of these eight here and then I'm going to go on ahead and break the blocks underneath them so I can place my endo flames. It's important to place the mana spreaders before you put down your generating flowers so that they will automatically sync up with the closest spreader. Here let me grab all of these and I'm going to place them under all of these and in the corners of this mana pool here. I'm gonna leave these four blank or empty so, so later I can put a mana, uh, what is it, separator, divider, something there and I'll have four mana pools going at once. So to link these up, I'm just gonna shift here, shift click on the spreader and then shift click on the pool I want it to go to so that it gets linked up here and then just chuck down a charcoal and these endo flames will chew that up and start generating mana for me and pretty soon I'm going to be able to once I get some redstone I'm going to be able to automate this so that it's dropping down this charcoal or this coal automatically and that burnt through an entire stack of coal, so I'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time over here just getting as much coal as I can. But I do have all of my coal seeds to 1010, so every time I harvest one, it gives me four, which is super, super important. Otherwise, you're just going to be harvesting your entire life, which is not fun at all. So I'm going to go and spend some time getting a lot more coal harvested up and getting set up to start getting our, our runes so that we can start making this tier 3 soil here. We're going to need the rune of the earth and then all this mana steel and a tier 2. It's actually not that difficult to accomplish. This mana pearl is probably the hardest part because I don't think at this point I have any ender pearls. Hey look, we actually have an enderman right there. Let's go kill him before he disappears. Take my axe because it works a lot better. Might as well take the solium dagger too, see if we can get a chunk from him. Be prepared for ender screams. Oh hey, he has one heart left. Or not. Something was glitching. Yeah, I shouldn't be killing with my solium dagger. Or I shouldn't be damaging with my solium dagger, I should say. I should I definitely want to kill him with the dagger. But uh yeah, no pearls with that. So I'm gonna have to try and farm those out, but I did get my last zombie chunk, so I can get those seeds made up. Also, I have 
tons of these quests because I spent all this time in Batania. So, and these quests are really simple. Just uh, JEI will tell you everything you need to know as far as getting that set up. That's why I didn't feel like it was super important to do all that on camera. So I'm going to go through and actually, you know what, just collect all of these here. There we go. Put that in there. And I am going to start getting my altar set up and I will be back in a bit. After a little bit of grinding, I think we are finally ready to work on our tier three soil. So we did get a man of uh, an ender pearl from an enderman. I would have liked to have gotten another one, but it's not a huge deal. So we're gonna take that ender pearl and some living rock and craft our runic altar. I'm gonna put this down probably right here. It's a good spot. And point another mana spray mana spreader at it probably so craft up one of those and I will put that down when we get to it and I'm actually gonna put down a couple more of these to get my endo flames good and productive getting some more mana Tell you what, it takes a lot of coal essence to make these blocks of coal. And eventually I'm going to have that automated where I will have a, a dropper and stuff. So I won't have to autom or manually chuck them in there. They'll just drop when it needs it. So I've got this mana pool filling up from these endo flames and it's direct being directed over to this mana pool. And with this mana pool, I'll be able to power my altar and I'll have my terrace terrestrial agglomeration plate over here at some point once I get the lapis and stuff required for that. So now we need the stuff. Oh, first we need to craft our tier three essences so that we can work on making this. This is what we're working on today. Tier 3 soils. So we need four intermedium, a tier 2 soil, rune of the earth, and four mana steel. And rune of the earth, mana powder, mana steel, stone, coal, and mushroom. And that gives us two, two runes. And I believe we actually get our runes back after crafting this recipe. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes Batania does, and sometimes it doesn't do that. So we'll see. So we're going to grab our tier two soils, block of prudentium. We're going to grab our block of prosperity too, because we're going to need a prudentium to intermedium crystal. I bet this needs to be full strength too. Let's see if we can use the, the one that's taken durability. Hey, we can, that's good and it doesn't take it. That's really convenient. Awesome. Okay, and we're gonna get some Prudentium and we're gonna need four to craft the soil. This first one at least, I'm gonna grind a bunch more off camera since it's not the most exciting of recipes. And our mushroom, mana steel, I'm going to put these away. No, we need that. Okay. So we're going to come over and put that in there to get the mana powder and four mana steel. Put our spreader and link it up to our runic altar. We need to craft the rune of the earth first, which, let's see. Stone steel, so we're gonna need another one of these. So, there we go. One coal, one stone, and our mushroom. And that's gonna craft up pretty quickly by the looks of it. We have sufficient amount of mana for that. And 
that's going to do its thing. And when it's done, we're just going to take our wand here and right click. Oops, with Living Rock. Now our wand. And we have our Rune of the Earth. So let's see if we can do our tier three soils now. Four of those, one of those, four of those. And there it goes, tier three soil. Our very first one is cooking up. I'm really excited to get the tier three soils so that I can work on getting some more redstone and the lapis and all the awesome tier three stuff that I've been needing to use, but I didn't have access to. And redstone, the game just updated between episodes and um, it used to be tier two, but in the new update, it's tier three. So I'm just kicking myself that I didn't grab myself some redstone before it updated. So I didn't have to wait for until now, but whatever, I guess we just take what's been dealt and move on. Yeah, and then we can have the lapis and get our uh, terrestrial, terrestrial, sorry, agglomeration plate going. It gave us our room back. And we have tier 3 soil, everybody. I'm going to go on ahead and off camera make a bunch of these up and get our new plots over here for tier 3 and our mutation platform as well. And then we can get started on our tier three seeds. Got our tier three garden soil plots all laid out and our mutation platform. So I'm ready to begin working on some of these seed mutations. Let's see, I didn't go through and figure out which ones I could do. So looks like I can do silic plastic, so silicon and wood. Grab wood and silicon. Oops, went the wrong way. And we got our plastic. It didn't take too long. Okay, we're gonna throw this extra wood seed that we got into the void. It's not going to stack. And put our plastic in. Okay, rabbit. We actually had some rabbit spawn over in that area. So I accidentally pinned it. And the stupid things, I tried to chase them to get their chunks and they just jumped over the edge. Okay, mana steel and water. Lead and silver, okay, silver and copper, aluminum and iron, there we go, we can do silver, aluminum and iron. So we've got iron, we don't need two seats, just one, come on, and aluminum, oh that's over here, I was working on promoting them, promoting the seeds to 10, 10, 10 so that I can have, I was planning on getting into immersive engineering next episode and they use a lot of aluminum and copper and so I wanted to make sure that I had the best essence seeds as possible for them so that I wasn't wasting my time getting them one essence at a time. And we got our silver. So silver was used to make Okay, I have silver and copper. I do not have lead yet or gold, so silver and copper. These seeds all look the same. <laughs> so close. Okay, iron goes there. Put my aluminum back down here. And yeah, my plan to get the orchid, it's pronounced orchid, not or child. I got that wrong. My plans to get the orchid to get diamonds is kind of put on halt because to get that orchid, it see it's a it's a botania flower. 
all right, or O-R-E, kid. But it requires pixie dust, which is an elven trade, and I am for sure not there yet. And you need diamonds to get that, and you have to go through immersive engineering to get it. And so it looks like we're going to be getting immersive engineering diamonds before we get Batania diamonds. And there we go. There's our lead. And then it was lead and silver, I believe, was the next one. Yeah. Silver and lead, and that will get us our mana steel. Okay. Silver, put our lead here. I'll go on and put the copper away so just so I don't have to fuss with it. And grow those up and mutate them. Wow. That was really quick and convenient. I think it was mana steel and um, silver, no, mana steel and water? Yeah, mana steel and water for aquamarine. So, mana steel and our water. Let's put our silver and lead seeds away. Just so that our inventory is a little cleaner. And then mutate our water and mana steel and get some aquamarine. Yeah, this uh, kitchen over here was made with marble, but it's not the pretty, the lovely smooth, um, what's it called, astral sorcery mar marble because I didn't have the aquamarine yet. To make the marble for astral sorcery, you need you need to have the aquamarine. So once I get this, I can have pretty pretty marble instead of the ugly stuff that you would normally just mine out of the earth. And there we have our aquamarine. Which essence goes where? Man of steel and water. You do not belong there. Water. Water goes back in here. Okay. Put our glowing in there. Alright, which ones do we have next? Collect that glowing. Redstone alloy. Lapis. Aquamarine and mana. We can do that. Get rid of you. All right, mana and aquamarine. And lapis. Nice and quick. Okay. Next. Redstone alloy, silicon and redstone. Redstone, silicon. Get those all grown. And then mutate them. Redstone alloy, that one took forever. Of course, you won't see that because I will have made a cut because nobody wants to watch. Things taking forever. Next on the list, electrical steel, iron, and coal. I think our coal is over here. Coal and is our iron planted too? No, it's right here. Yes, it's right there. Good grief, what's with the iron seeds? They always want to jump out two at a time. Triple steel. Put those in there. Next on the list, conductive iron. Hey, living rock and living wood? That's gonna be nice. Certus quartz. 
Okay. Conductive iron. Iron and redstone. We've got redstone down? No, we have iron down. Put this back over here with its friends. Get our redstone. And get those mutating. Conductive iron. Okay, next. Living rock. Limestone and marble. Lime, marble and limestone. Redstone seeds and iron seeds back. Get them grown up and mutating. And we have living rock. We'll put these seeds away. Living wood. Wood and basalt. Our basalt here. And wood here. Looks like I'm going to have to make some more drawers. I'm running out of room here. Not a problem. Oop, that's not basalt, that's grains of infinity. I really need to, to label these. Or, that's plastic, Men oh there it is, basalt. What's it doing? Oh it is, it is. Get those grown up and mutate them. And there's our living wood. That's going to make Batania a lot easier. Don't have room for our living wood, so it's going to hang out in our inventory for a little bit. Let's see the basalt over here by the mineral and the wood back in here. Marble. Basalt. Now those seeds, since they were used to grow other seeds, they actually have an essence with them now. Okay, Certus Quartz. Nether Quartz and Marble. I don't have Nether Quartz. Nether and Iron, but I do have those. Simple enough. So I'm going to take those over and plant them. Let me know, guys, if you actually want to watch these being mutated or when I want to, if you want to watch me put all of these seeds and make all the seeds, if you want to watch that on camera, or if you'd rather I did, if I made all the tiered seeds off camera, just let me know down in the comments which you would prefer, because this could probably get pretty tedious, so just let me know. I'll be sure to try and cut out like this, how it's taking forever. I'm trying to cut that out and make sure that you see just the just the end result and not the lot longer time that it takes to get these mutations. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see the whole process. All right, we got our nether quartz and marble for that certus quartz. Or nether quartz and put these in here. This one and that one and marble. And get those mutating. Grown up so they'll mutate. And we can get our certus quartz. And with certus quartz we can eventually start working on the um is it applied energistics system that's in here? Um Yeah, Applied Energistics. I have a little experience with that mod, but I haven't done a ton with it. There are better storage systems, but that one will be fun. I haven't done it in too long, in very long, so it'll be fun to get back into. Oh, there it is, Certus Quartz. That actually didn't take too long. 
Okay. We don't have a home for you or a home for you. But you have a home over here. Okay, back in our quests. We just have a few more tier three seeds left. Gold is copper and mana steel. Copper, mana steel. Grow those up and mutate. And there's our gold. Sorry, a little bit of technical difficulties. <laughs> gold. Let's put our mana steel away. The copper. Skystone. Basalt and Certus Quartz. So. Basalt from earlier and the Certus Quartz. And we are so close to being done with all of these tier 3 seeds. Skystone. An extra basalt seed. Shoo. Okay. This is. All right, glowstone and obsidian are the last ones we're going to do because we'll just wait on, oops, sorry, glowstone, fire, and nether. Dip it into the tier one seeds here. I suppose nether is tier two and fire is tier one, so disregard that. <laughs> And our glowstone. And then obsidian. I'm guessing fire and water. <laughs> yes, fire and water. Shouldn't have picked up that fire seed. If I'd have thought ahead a little second faster, I wouldn't have. Oh well, it's not like it's hard to get them to grow fast. Kind of makes the whole... Uh, mystical Agri agriculture pack so overpowered because it already is a very overpowered pack and the fact that you can just hold on to shift and they grow at an alarming rate it's really really overpowered so I'm interested to see how it's going to maintain balance in this pack I'm guessing since we get into extreme crafting and everything and you're going to need so much of every material that it's going to help balance it out that way. And there's our obsidian. Let's take a look at our seeds. Make sure we didn't miss any besides the rabbit here and collect our glowing. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to wrap up here with... Our lovely tier 3 soil, some great star and botania, and all of the tier 3 seeds that we're going to get right now. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.